more hurdle for these ladies. The judges have already narrowed it down to five of these ten based on their scores. Five contestants will now be given a question. Then each judge will rank them in order from fourth runner-up all the way to our Miss America. Pat, I need those names. Thank you, sir. All right, when Chris and I call out a name, the contestant will draw. Ready? Yep. You're going to draw one of the balls, and that judge will ask a question. Let's do it. All right. When the fifth contestant has been called, obviously the other women will be eliminated. ABC and the Miss America organization have determined that the questions are equally challenging. Ladies, good luck. The first finalist to answer a question and have a chance to be Miss America is... Miss Oklahoma, Kelsey Griswold. Kelsey, come on over. Kelsey, come on over. Reach right in there. Mario, I hope you have your question ready. Yes, I do, Miss Oklahoma. Miley Cyrus has caused a media sensation with her twerky performance on the VMAs, appearing nude in her new video, etc. What do you think? Miley just expressing herself artistically, or Miley, please, what are you thinking? I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think her performance was twerking for me, so, you know, did you get it? Did you get it? No, honestly, I think that, I think that her performance was, was a little bit not super tasteful, but you know, at the same time, she's a performer, I'm a performer, so I have to respect her creativity. There you have it. All right, Miss Oklahoma, you can go change for the crowning ceremony. Congratulations. The next finalist to receive a question and move on is Miss Minnesota, Rebecca Yeh. No peeking, reach right in. All right, ready. Lance Bass, question? All right. All right. Some political candidates' wives have continued to support their husbands through scandals involving very public sexting and cheating. I can actually hear my mother Google searching sexting right now in Mississippi. Sorry, Mom. Uh, are these wives carrying stand by your man too far? No, I don't think so. When you make a commitment to somebody, you're with them for life. And I think that they're doing the right thing by standing by that man that they married and they fell in love with. And I think that they're doing the right thing. That husband needs to get together, though. Thank you, Miss Minnesota. Okay, get ready. The next question goes to Miss California. Crystal Lee, come on over. Jump in. Joshua Bell, question. The U.S. has threatened to attack Syria over using chemical weapons on its own people. It's a terrible crime, but is it our responsibility to punish them for it? I believe as one of the most powerful countries in the world, we do have an ethical obligation to prevent, you know, a leader of a country who is using chemical weapons on his people. I believe uh, we should use, um, you know, congressional support if we can and refer to the UN because this is something that we all need to handle together. Thank you, Miss California. Miss California, go get your gown on. Two more. The next question goes to Miss New York. TV host Julie Chen revealed that when she was starting out, for career reasons, she had plastic surgery to make her eyes appear less Asian. What message does this send to young women? Unfortunately, um, I don't agree with plastic surgery. However, I can understand that from a standpoint. But more importantly, I've always viewed as Miss America as the girl next door. And the girl next door is evolving as the diversity in America evolves. She's not who she was 10 years ago, and she's not going to be the same person come 10 years down the road. So I wouldn't want to change someone's looks or appearance, but definitely be confident in who you are. All right, Miss New York, thank you very much. Ladies, one of you six will get a question. Unfortunately, five of you will be eliminated from this competition. The next and final question goes to finalist, Miss Florida, Miranda Jones. Miranda, come on over. Come on over, reach in, no peeking. Deirdre Downs Gun. It's the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, and we have an African-American president. 
Yet minorities still have disproportionately low incomes and disproportionately high unemployment and incarceration rates. What should our nation do to address this issue? I actually came from a home that my father, my father is unemployed. It took a lot for me to be able to stand on this stage. So I truly represent that middle class blue collar family that's working hard to make their kids be able to have all the opportunities. in the world. So that